super fast build mode and we've got ourselves one absolutely insane build for day one episode one and i think it fits the tycoon design this absolute over the top optimistic build here kind of rolling into the continent to start a whole new life and a business and i had an absolute blast putting this together this took a lot of design work and a lot of work gathering all the materials but as i said it was a fun beautiful challenge and uh yeah it was a lot of cool um experimenting especially with the new blocks now you might notice that the uh, the bill kind of looks like a boat and it's supposed to be a wagon so it's gotten the nickname <laughs> <laughs> it's gotten the nickname the Lambo after land boat, <laughs> which I think is just absolutely perfect. But it's uh, it's got a llama pulling it, by the way. starter base made of mostly 1.17 blocks we've got ourselves moss blocks we've got the glow lichen everywhere and we got some amethyst dotted in there a couple of candles all the azalea stuff and i know that this looks like it might be a cannon what i was trying to go for was like a telescope an observatory thing i think it, it works but just you just don't look too closely at it and it's it's a-okay we've even got some glow berries tough and then all of the sort of deep slate stuff so overall i think this works oh and not to forget the copper block and now we should have enough space to construct this thing now what i want to do is i want to create a vw bus that is transporting a tiny house so first things first of course we've got the wheels for these things for those of you who aren't really familiar with tiny houses essentially they're houses that are small enough that they can fit on a trailer type thing i absolutely love tiny houses i absolutely love vw buses but i especially love tiny houses i follow a lot of tiny house accounts on youtube and on instagram and you know if i could i would be in a tiny house in an instant but i can't for many reasons and mainly the fact that i'm not a tiny person i, I probably wouldn't actually fit i need like a big tiny house so those are all of our foundational points laid out now it's time to start actually getting the blocks in place the design that i have in mind uses not only a bunch of quartz but it also uses a bunch of copper as well we do not have enough copper blocks for this thing so for the time being i'm making use of these warped wood blocks and i have to say i actually think they look really good like it could be a better color for the bus than the copper blocks but then again i quite like the vibe of the metallic slightly rusted look of these things i feel like that goes along better with the idea of an old VW bus. Well, that's just about the best feeling ever. I had the perfect amount of quartz to construct the shell of this thing. And I think that's pretty much everything for the actual exterior. Now we just need to do the floor and the ceiling. And of course, there's a million different details to work on with the structure as well, which I've gradually started to add in place. I also need a lot more of this glow squid ink, but obviously I can't kill any glow squid, so I might have to recruit someone to kill some on my behalf. Does that still count as being all about peace, love, and plants? I personally think so. This might just be one of the jazziest floors I've ever created in Minecraft, but it definitely goes along well with the build, and the build itself should now all be finished, at least on the camper van front. Of course, it's going to be carrying a tiny house out the back, but first impressions are this is ridiculously cool. I mean, I'm really, really happy with how this came together. You know, the warped wood, and then we have the fully oxidized copper, and then some of the slightly oxidized ones. I think that combination there, it just ties it all in really, really nicely. It's like exactly the vibe that I was hoping for. I am, I'm really, really pleased. I would say that I'd love to have one of these in real life, but I kind of already do. And it is, it's actually in a very similar state. It's, <laughs> it's kind of, it's, it's rusting a little bit itself. Maybe that's why I love this thing so much because it is so similar to the one that I actually own. Now time for the tiny house. And honestly, I think this is what chains were invented for. However, we could potentially fall at the first hurdle here because the design that I have in mind makes use of dark oak. And I'm not sure we have any dark oak anywhere near us. But with the biggest thanks to Pearlescent Moon, we are now sorted in that de department. Is it one of those ones that requires four saplings? Yes! How long have Dark Oak Trees been in the game? I mean, you know, I feel like they're not really a recent addition anymore. My little tiny house is gradually coming together. It is starting to look cool. 
And now that I have removed the spruciness of these spruce trees, everything is starting to look... Yeah, that, that definitely smooths things out. I was wondering why I was looking so rubbish. Once again, the key with this build is all in the details. Currently, it still looks a little bit pants, but I can promise you, at least if it looks anything like it does in my head, all right, it's going to end up looking good. I have confidence there. I'm having to do something here that I haven't had to do in an incredibly, incredibly long time. Like, I really want to have a grass roof on the top of my house and I want to place plants and things on top of it. But of course, I don't have silk touch. And I forgot that if you don't have silk touch, then you can't have a grass roof. So I'm having to do this. This has definitely come together really nicely. It's looking great. It's looking cool. But there is one massive thing that is missing. And that is all the plants. You may notice we've got a bunch of platforms around. I put those in especially to just cover this thing in potted plants. Ah, ah. That is just beautiful. I want to live there. I want to move into this world and exist in this thing. This is the definitive proof that I needed that size, in fact, does not matter. Although, I mean, that is still gorgeous and this is shaping up to be rather impressive looking.